already moved too far, right? Yeah. Okay. Two chains. Yes. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I bear witness to his coming and the person of Master Farah Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever and ever and ever. I bear witness of the greatness of the one whom he set. Uh, in his seat, in his absence, in the person of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, I bear witness of his greatness, and I bear witness that they both left one in their absence who does sit in their seat in the name of the most honorable Louis Farrakhan Muhammad, who sits in the seat of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as the father over the house in his absence. In their names, I would like to greet the world and welcome you to the WAEN.TV live broadcast of the Farrakhan Hour. Today, as you can see, I have standing beside me another brother. Uh, he is a business owner here. We're live broadcasting out of Macon, Georgia, here today in Flavor, USA, uh, which is a uh, very, uh, to me, down-to-earth but business uh, model that we can all pattern ourselves after. The reason why we're viewing here today is that Minister Farrakhan in the uh, volume 31 number um, sixth edition of the Final Call newspaper, as you can see, he's talking about how can we survive in North America and throughout the world. And he has a question on there, a mark at the end, and it says, do for self. And so consequently, our brother himself, his family, uh, are actually doing that here live. And uh, he's also a sponsor of the WAIN.TV network with the Farrakhan Hour. Um, let me introduce you all today to our uh, guest, special guest, uh, Clifford Green. How Thank you doing today, Cliff? Thank you, Brother Lazaric. Uh, I'm pleased to be here with you and uh, proud to have you in our place here, uh, Flavor USA, to show the world uh, what we have to offer them. Okay. Okay. So um, we're thankful that you could come today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see my wrist has a little jewelry on it. Uh, <laughs> my hand has my arm has a little jewelry on it. And I am not just here doing an interview, but I also support our brother. He has some very reasonable prices uh, for his jewelry and also his apparel. And so um, I would like to give him an opportunity uh, to tell us a little bit about uh, himself and what made him call his business Flavor USA. Well, first of all, um, I started or we started Flavor USA in Macon about 12 years ago. Okay. And uh, but prior to that, we had started way in New York was our beginning stages. And we knowing the signs of the times mm -hmm. uh, working from uh, Harlem uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um, we saw that the writing was on the wall, that we needed to move forward progressively. And we decided that since we didn't have available to us financing, right? we needed to finance ourselves. Special financing. Is that what they call it for Special us? Special financing. <laughs> so we, as they would say, we got to grinding, which is working hard day by day. And we started constructing a method of... Uh, promoting our products that we took from one level to the next level. That means we moved from one stage of, uh, of development, mm. which was from small, but having a vision of where we wanted to go. And therefore, the whole point was that we started where we could start. We, didn't, we felt that we had the resources within working together to make this dream come about. Okay. And therefore, we set about that dream some... 19 years ago, wow. building the foundations of what we so far have been able to accomplish. Okay. So um, to make a long story short, like I said, you know, the financing wasn't there, but we saw where we could get in and therefore we worked what we could work, which meant we did events, we worked hard day by day, we worked flea markets, but we had a dream and we had a plan to grow into a a storefront and we were able to accomplish that uh, moder modestly yes and from there with the support of i must say of macon which we felt was a very good location for us since we were 
small fish. Okay. We felt that we could fit in here and, and swim amongst the sharks. Okay. Who weren't too many. Okay. So we were able to swim pretty well in this climate and uh, the Macon family, the Macon people who embraced us. And we do owe a lot of thanks to them. Yes. We, we sometimes hear our people speak about ourselves and how we don't support black businesses. Right. But the truth and reality is sometimes we also have to pay attention to the needs of our people and try to fit in and work with them in a way that they can feel that we are sincere about what we are offering them. Okay. And uh, I think we were successful at securing the trust. Yes, you, you really have been. You know, of the, the family in Macon. So we really love Macon and we love the people in Macon because without them, we could not be in business today. For those of you who just tuned in, we're actually in um, Macon, Georgia. We're broadcasting live on WAEN dot tv soon to be cataloged on wain dot tv and on youtube we're here standing live with business owner and proprietor uh clifford green here at 646 Sherling drive in macon georgia in the plaza um where most of our people live and come through the community we're right off of exit uh one off of i-16 near exit uh off of i-75 in macon georgia uh, and I am pleased to say that I'm here with uh, Mr. Green. Um, we are holding up the Final Call newspaper that talks about Do For Self. I also have uh, with me, if you can pay attention to and zoom in, on the uh, mandatory business and really no business as usual edition of uh, the uh, 16th anniversary of the Million Man March where you see Abdul Sharif Muhammad on the cover of this magazine. He's the student minister and the regional representative for the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. And the reason why we're bringing this up uh, is because with this magazine, you have um, a lot of uh, compelling issues in here. You have a brother that's on the inside who's also a business owner and proprietor. Uh, JT, the bigger figure, he's one of the number one uh, fishermen in the Nation of Islam, bringing out more guests than most people in the country to come hear uh, the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he works in the hip hop community since we're on a hip hop network. Uh, this magazine, we're looking very much forward to having um, some of Mr. Green's and his family's uh, articles and some of their different products that they have in the store. As you can see, there are a lot of different artists um, who actually support uh, this magazine. And so hopefully in the up and coming weeks, um, you can see uh, Clifford Green, you can see Flavor USA, you can see uh, Making Georgia live on the map in this magazine uh, right here that deals with uh, our people who are actually doing for self, as it says, with the final call. And so with that, I wanted to say, um, Clifford, you support it and have supported, if you don't mind me saying, um, this magazine by way of having it, their customers that buy it uh, in your store. Mm -hmm. And then as well, um, this magazine has had some uh, hand in supporting uh, the number two poor fund, which helps support the Nation of Islam and Minister Farrakhan. Uh, could you give us our take on what did you uh, think about not just the magazine, but on how you believe uh, your support of um, um, the magazine itself or your support of the Million Man March has an effect on what you're doing here with Flavor USA? It had or has a lot of effect. I remember the, million, the very first Million Man March. Okay. And... Uh, Everyone remembers the excitement and uh, what transpired from that. So that was a great influence, not just for a person like me, but young people to see that we as a people can come together and be in an environment together and not be disruptive. Okay, so all of that was very instrumentally inspiring Flavor USA or to be what it is today and to do this job of uh, being a service to the community mm. in Macon. So we do this with pride and honor, um, representing 
our people. That's right. So, um, oh, it was. It, this has been a great influence to our nation of people. Period. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Well, with that, I would like to take the opportunity now to, um, <clears throat> for those who are watching, you can't physically see what I'm looking at, but we would like to take the opportunity for a few minutes to actually uh, have you see uh, some of the product. Um, I travel around the country uh, meeting quite a few people uh, throughout the week or the course of the weekend. Uh, I'm on the road probably three to five days out of a week, and I'm always in different stores. And so what prompted me to uh, not only want to become a supporter of uh, Mr. Green and his establishment, of course, like I said, uh, they're following the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad because he said that we should do for self or suffer the consequences. If you don't have a job and you can't find a job because of either your education or because of your background, then he said that we should use our God given talent and our God given right and create a job and provide Food, clothing and shelter, uh, freedom, justice and equality, knowledge, wisdom and understanding to our family. And uh, this is something that we're standing here with Mr. Green. I would like to take the opportunity to allow Mr. Green to um, take us um, down, um, uh, actually have a tour of your store, if you don't mind. Just to touch on what you just said, what you just said was to dig into the natural resources that lie within inside of yourself. Mm. And I think we all have that. And so if we can just look at what we have and start from that location, wherever you are, you can make something happen. But you have to depend on self-determination. Self-determination is what it's all about. I don't think I don't care if you're a, a, an athlete, a football player, a basketball player. You have to have some kind of self-determination to make it in this world. So. You know, that's where it starts. Okay. From the thing. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. All right. Very um, well sure. spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely like to, sh you know, show you around and sh uh, show you what we um, have to offer for those customers who might be interested in uh, maybe sometime visiting us or, you know, purchasing anything maybe online or viewing us. Um, we would definitely like to show you our collection of items that we have available to you. So, um where would you like to start? Okay. All right. And um, so we'll start from um, one of the really inspiring things in making is that they have a great sense of culture. Right. Still, because uh, one of the big figures, though, in making is our dear beloved brother Bob Marley. A hero. Bob Marley. An yeah. Icon. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, Mr. Bob, contrary to popular demand or popular belief, uh, Mr. Bob wasn't just about the marijuana <laughs> or smoking the blunt. Right. Mr. Bob was a very knowledgeable and aware human being. You said that like you got a little island in you, brother. Well, I do. Where are you I from? I do. Uh, my birth is uh, Barbados. Barbados. Yeah. And, very strong uh, people. I would like. I would hope so. From what I understand, <laughs> that yes, we, we are. From we what are. I understand, that people. when the colony people came over. They told them we were not going to be enslaved, and they overthrew the slave ships, from what I understand, in Barbados. <laughs> well, you know, like, um, there's been a lot of uh, misinformation concerning the history of our people in the islands. Nevertheless, um, whether you are in the islands, South America, or on Turtle Island, which is America, right? we are all in the Americas. That's right. And... Uh, Based on that reality and that fact, that makes us one. So we are one nationality. That's right. And um, we we acknowledge that and we embraced it. So regardless to religions, that's right. Beliefs, we still want people, one okay. blood. Okay. You know. So you know, on the way down here, I was telling a brother. He asked me where I got my jeans from. Okay. So I noticed that you have um, a very nice collection of. Uh, jeans, a nice selection of polo shirts. Um, very, 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 very reasonable. How are you able to market with the completion, completion and uh, competing with uh, the other markets of people who are marketing clothes uh, with what you have because you have a very nice selection of jeans? Okay. Oh, that's a good question. At this time, um, because of the climate of the economy, and uh, when you 
navigate a ship, you need to know what kind of weather you are going to face. Come on. So being that we had been aware of the climate, we built this store so that it could survive the tough times by offering affordable products to people in this very hard economic climate. So wow. uh, we we really just uh, get with our you know special suppliers, manufacturers, the best that we feel that are doing a, a great job okay. of producing a product that not necessarily does it have to be a brand. Right. Meaning a brand name. Right. You can still have your quality. That's right. And look like a brand, and uh, and and still be looking really good. That's right. And so um, we built this in mind to be able to offer our people affordable prices at this this very tough time. A lot of the big brands are not doing very well right now because people can't afford right. the high end product. The hype is over. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. And so the reality is here now that you know. Affordable, but still quality. Okay. We must maintain the quality. And uh, and this is what we do. We try to find those vendors that's making a good product and uh, and try to find the different fabrications, designs, and to give people variety. And uh, so that's why we have such a variety of jeans. We have a, a variety of jeans at nineteen ninety nine. Okay. We have jeans running from nineteen ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine, twenty seven ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine, even thirty nine ninety nine. But fifty uh, percent of our uh, product is within the percentage of nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Price points, and then we have many shirts. We also try to maintain that across the board, even with our shirts. Now that does not mean we do not get some high end product. Well, you know, I, I had to, I had, I can't front my brother. <laughs> you know, I, every time I'm in the city, you know, um, I take a look at your big and tall line, not because I'm big and tall, but because I have a lot of friends that are, you know, I wear a lot of t-shirts when I'm traveling, even though I'm in a suit right now. Yes. And I, I noticed that you have the Vallejo luxury tennis shoe line. Oh, yeah. Of which I, um, you amazing know. Amazing product. Really, it's an amazing product. It's an excellent feel. Yes, it is. You know, to me, um, it's one of the better brands. They took their time putting the shoes yes, and the shirts together. They took their time uh, with the quality of it, and so it can compete mm -hmm. uh, with anybody who I think may have this particular product. In fact, you have the white pair uh, right here that I actually have a, a copy of a pair of yes. um, right here. But I'm looking very much forward uh, to getting <laughs> a pair of these black ones right here. Yes. And... I got to find something to go with this, but I think I can put it together because you got a nice set of polo shirts and things like that that I could actually put with it. And so, you know, you don't see those shoes in a lot of places, but those are called actually called luxury shoes. Yes, it's the lux luxury kicks. Yeah, really. luxury kicks. That's what they call it. Yeah. Um, you know, so those that product right there, we, we are very um, pleased by its uh, performance. Yes. Uh, because we, you know, when you have all these bigger... Uh, corporations, you know, the brand big Nikes and the Adidas. This particular product, which was unknown, has come into the marketplace. And who determines a product really that we have found is really the high schoolers. And the high schoolers have really took to this product. And that has inspired us to continue to get the variation of the designs that they're putting out. So this is going to be a stay in our in our store, the Vlado, uh, the Spectros, the different colors in them. Okay. We're going to continue to maintain that because we see how from the younger to the older tends to buy. Everybody likes it. Yes. It's a comfortable it, and, shoe. And the females. It's a very comfortable it's, shoe. Yes. And uh, most of all, I have to mention my son. My son <laughs> don't like too much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> but so like you, that, way, you like, like that. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm impressed with that one. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> um, you know who who is I, I don't I can't I can't if you don't mind I can't fail to mention you know there's a sister who is your complete total opposite but your complete makeup of your other self. I've got a chance to speak with her mm. on many occasions. Uh, she's definitely. Uh, someone worthy mm -hmm. to be respected and, and honored, Miss um, Clifford uh, Green. <laughs> Kelly Green. That's what that's. You know they call it that when you they talking about it when you go that's out true. to dinner. But this is my sister right uh -huh. here, Helene Green. Um, my sister, 
you know, what has it been like for you being here and making and, and having being a part uh, ownership and mentor, being a mother, a grandmother? I got a chance to see your granddaughter the other day and being here in Flavor USA. How has it been for you being in making? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's like a family, you know, it's like a family event, you know, you, we work together, live together. Customers we have been coming here for the last yeah. 12, 14, 15 years, so we kind of know everybody in the neighborhood. So we like servicing them and they like coming, they say we like coming to shop with us. Because, you know, they shop with us and they tell us sometimes little personal problems or the good things going on, invite us to their Weddings, etc. So right. we're, like a, we're, we're definitely like a part a family. of the American like family. It's more personal. We're definitely a part of the American family. Well, well, you know, I brought her over to my section. I'm in the big face watch section for those <laughs> who are into uh, quality watches, uh, quality jewelry, you know, without uh, the $5,000 price tag. But it's not deficient in the quality for what you're getting uh, in exchange for the product. Um, they look very good. They're very fashionable. I see people from people who are, you know, Fortune 500 people. Uh, I saw a gentleman the other day. I was in um, Charlotte, and a guy was coming out of uh, Bank of America with a jogging suit on. He had this very watch right here. And so I told him, I said, I know a guy I make it. You might want to take his card. I had your card in my pocket. You might want to check him out. He sells those watches. <laughs> he just happened to have a mother that lives in Milledgeville. Oh, really? You know, so okay. he said that, hey, you know, I'll come check the brother out. But very, very nice uh, quality of, of uh, product. And, of course, I, I know I spend my money here as well. So um, and we appreciate that. We appreciate No, I appreciate you for being support, here. <laughs> you know, um, it's really a pleasure. You know, to even have you here endorsing our products. So we really thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But a lot of people, even though we're on the W uh, A E N network, which is more of a um, uh, street team, okay. uh, hip hop <laughs> network, and we talked yeah. about uh, well, JT, we, uh -huh. we talked about JT Money, okay. we talked about the Nation of Islam and the magazine that they're in. Uh, dealing with the Million More Movement because it is a hip-hop magazine. Um, but what most people don't know for your store, and this is what caught my attention, your selection is as great and your uh, structure of your store is as great, as, in my opinion, as uh, a Foot Locker or something like that in that nature uh, or a finish line. But then what, what I loved about it was the fact that you also have – um, quality lines of suits and um, for people who are actually interested in that type of material and um, that are interested. And so they don't just get the hip hop side. They right. get the, the as Jay-Z say, correct. throw on the suit and get it tapered up. That's correct. You have that section, too. So what inspired you to want to do that? I'll tell you something. When we first started, we were strictly urban, strictly, strictly urban. And uh, but, you know, nothing lasts. Things change, and you have to be paying attention to the marketplace, and you have to watch these subtle changes in the energy uh, vibrations of the change of, of, of trends. And uh, we were observing, and we noticed that we were going from urban to casual, and a mixture of urban to skateboard. Okay. You see. Okay. And so there was a fusion that took place, and we were like, okay, we needed to find a place there where we could adjust or adapt. Okay. You see, because every business has a lifespan. That's Like right. a human being. That's right. And therefore, if you want to maintain life, you have to change with the times. That's right. So we kind of made adjustments to the times and, and morphed into what we currently, uh, you know, exist as. So we still have some urban. We have... Yes, uh, many of our, as my wife has been putting, many of our customers that have grown up with us, we came to the conclusion about, hey, these guys are no longer 14 years old wearing the same things. You're looking at 12 years down the road, this guy's 26 years old. He's dressing differently now. Right. So how do we continue to support our, our, our cater to that client that trusts us? Right. And so we had to make some changes to adapt so as to still serve our clientele that was aging, 
And so we offered a variety now, which is the casual and the dress, the church, uh, the formal, uh, you know, the suits. Um, neckties and, and, and nice. something that we Very do nice also neckties. is that uh, we, we, uh, we custom order. We order products also if uh, there's a group. If there's a group like churches and such, right? You said you do weddings and uh, yes, we 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 uh, can order a bulk products. We have catalogs that you know we can uh, show our customers what we have for them, and they can select, and we could order for any specific occasions. Okay, so um, that's I mean, that was one of the night, parts. You got raincoats. I mean, you got. Bomber jackets, you got um, pea coats. Pea coats. You uh, got we have military coats. Um, you know, the pea coats has been very good. Okay. That, that look is the look right now with young people. We we like to stay with the young. We like to stay decent, but we still like to always include the young because okay. that's our future. That's right. And that's our inspiration. That's right. That's okay? right. So, uh, you know, I, when I see the young people coming here, that it, it's them. It's really these. The teens, uh, guys in their 20s, that we are trying to uh, have a positive influence. Okay. With. Okay. So that's who we are primarily catering to. But we still have stuff here that people that are in the 40s, we have two, two piece suits, walking suits. Like what I'm wearing? Uh, yeah. Like what you're wearing, but also the lid that some that's by uh, Steve Harvey. Which is upscale. That he's showing right now. He's over there, uh, the Steve Harvey uh, collection. Um, then we have, uh, what we call, um, we have some Letterman jackets. That's a very popular thing in this, yes. uh, in this yes. neighborhood. Yes. The blank ones. Right. Because they're two tones and you can put custom make or custom apply what you want on your own, on jacket. your own jacket. Okay. And so that's been a very big item for us. Um, I see you got a lot of different color vests as well. Oh yeah. The vest. The vests, uh, we tend to sell a lot of vests also for like proms, okay. uh, weddings. Okay. Uh, you know, people come in from their churches when they're having special events and the, or, you know, pre order those things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, just well rounded. <laughs> just well, what can I say? So, uh, if I was coming from Atlanta and I had to come to your store, how yes. would I get here? Okay, if you was coming from Atlanta, it's just a one shot, straight shot by way of 75, I-75. Going? Coming south. Okay. And you would come, stay on 75, uh, you know, because there's a certain point you can go 75 or 475. You want to stay on 75 all the way into uh, joining with 16. I-16. So where it breaks off for 475, you take 475. You, no, you take 75. Okay, I just want to make sure that they're clear on that. You take 75. Okay. Forget the four. Forget the okay. four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you drive all the way down to, you see uh, where it says uh, Savannah exit, which would be I-16. Okay. When you get on I-16, you get right off again at the very first exit, which is Spring Street. Spring Street. Uh, yeah, Spring Street. That exit number one. You, exit one. Uh, you should know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so you make a left. Yeah, and you make a left at that exit, and you drive straight up. That 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 particular road is going to be called uh, Gray Highway. Gray Highway. And uh, so from uh, from that point where you made that left, it's about maybe a mile up okay. the road. And so we sit at the corner, basically, of Sherlin Drive. And Gray Highway uh, in the Northeast Shopping Plaza. So if someone were to go outside and um, from you standing here mm -hmm. and I, I were coming in, what would be an something on the corner as a landmark that I can see to let me know that I'm near you? Okay. When you uh, see, uh, you'll see at the corner of Gray and Sherlin Drive, there is... On the right-hand side, there's the CVS, and across the street from CVS is the BP. That's right. We are right behind the BP okay. in that shopping plaza Okay. where there is uh, Rose's Shopping Plaza. Uh, I think it says AutoZone, and there's Team Sports, so we are right in the middle of that. Okay, so that stands for what? Bean Pie, Brother Paul, Black People. What does the BP stand for? BP. Oh, okay, the gas uh, station. I remember BP. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, Boss Player. Boss Player. <laughs> 
Yes, but, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, you know. Fortunately, you know, BP, we like to forget about that. Yes, we have forgotten about that. Okay. So, you're at 646 Sherlin, Sherlin Drive, Drive. Uh, in Macon, Georgia. Okay. Uh, zip code is 31211. Our phone number, 478-743-4050. And we are open uh, from the hours of 10 in the morning to 730, uh, Monday to Thursday, and then on the weekends, Friday and Saturday be open from 10 until 8.30. Okay. And uh, pretty much that's our schedule. That's six days a week. Okay. Uh, this young brother right here, this is, who is, who, which family member is this? This is my son, uh, Moses. <laughs> also, yes, we can be found on uh, Facebook at uh, Flavor U S A. That would be flavor U dot S dot A. Um, hit us up and like us and uh, be a part of our family. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, when I came in, there was a bunch of brothers mm -hmm. uh, that were part of the Peacekeepers. For people who may not know, uh, the Peacekeepers was actually um, a um, um, arm that was started by Brother Dennis Muhammad. He's a um, one of the... Uh, brothers who uh, has in the Nation of Islam been a regional captain. Um, he's assisted uh, with Abdul Sharif Muhammad in uh, running the East Coast. And they were in the parking lot. Um, you know, some of the brothers had mentioned that they had actually even had come to your store. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them that live here in Macon, Brother Minister Daryl Muhammad, whom we uh, definitely thank him. Uh, for the work that he's done here, the brothers and sisters in the mosque here in Macon, Georgia. And uh, they're looking at very much soon, and I'm just letting you know. So if you see a bunch of brothers coming here, not that you would be threatened, but <laughs> if you see a bunch of brothers coming in here with on shirts, or if you see them throughout the community or anywhere in the country because they don't just uh, live here in Macon, they're from all over the country. Uh, Brother Dennis Muhammad has a sensitivity program that he works with uh, police, uh, the sheriff department, homeland security, uh, the secret service, and even the FBI, from what I understand, with his program, he has a sensitivity program, and he teaches and trains them how to deal with um, black people and people of uh, ethnicity uh, by way of background so that they're more or less not uh, profiled. That's, that's and so the needed. reason why I'm mentioning that, not yeah. just also because yeah. they were coming into your store, mm -hmm. but I heard you mention, and I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. why do you think it's important that in addition to business-wise that the youth are targeted, but why do you think that it's important that we focus on cultivating our youth? I mean, being that you're a father, yeah. mm -hmm. you're a grandfather, yeah. you know, you're a mentor, you're someone who's in business, yeah. and so... It is our job to put our own people on mm -hmm. the cover of whatever magazine or the cover of whatever we do. It's not their job. That's our job. This, this and so uh, that's the nature of this the interview. Correct. That's the nature of, right. you know, why we're here. That's our job. And so I feel incumbent. It is our responsibility. It is our responsibility. There's no doubt about that. And for us to wait for someone else to do for us is complete madness. Right. You know, it's not their job. We have to take up the responsibility to do for ourselves, you know, and I'm not advocating leaving anyone out. I believe in life for all and well-being for all, you know. Uh, so, you know, it's about all of us having a level playing field so we all could uh, have access to the things in life that supports and gives us a quality existence. So, um you know, all we want is to be able to live our life in a way that we fulfill our purpose. Give humanity uh, a service that shows that we have lived well, performed well. That's the most that we can do and be, uh, be uh, let's say, consciously fulfilled by way of not having a guilt complex. You want to live your life, man, in a way that you know you have wronged people. You do people, you try to live your life the best way you can and not take advantage of people, uh, use people, because in the end, it's about human beings. It's about flesh and blood. Money is secondary. 
That's so, right. That's right. That's right. Um, and that's one of the that's the actual the message of the uh, the uh, uh, Minister Farrakhan has been teaching us and having uh, us to focus on is atonement. You know, if I as a brother have mm-hmm. done you wrong, right. it is my job to come to you to, as my grandmother used to say, mm-hmm. beg you your forgiveness. That's right. But it is my job to do something to show you that I have forgiven you for that which I have wronged you. Right. And then in exchange for that, it is your job should you see that the forgiveness and the payment mm-hmm. of forgiveness is actually being fulfilled to actually forgive. Right. So that we can move on to the next step, um, dealing with atonement and reconciliation mm-hmm. so that we can really become true brothers. Because he said you can tell when you pass from death mm-hmm. and to life because you love the brotherhood. Mm-hmm. You know, and so with that, I want to say we were talking about the uh, the peacekeepers and Brother Dennis Muhammad, but <laughs> the brothers have actually come in and I would like to have them come on. Come on in, Brother Dennis. <laughs> My big brother in the in the in the faith and the resurrection and and doing the work. Man, good to see you, brother Dennis. Please take please tell us about the great work of um, for those who don't know. We're broadcasting live. We're here in Flavor USA. This is the Farcon Hour. We broadcast live every Friday uh, from one from excuse me from 12 p.m. To 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WAIN TV, but we're on WAEN TV today on a Saturday in Macon, Georgia, in Flavor USA on the Hip Hop Network, and we're standing here with none other than my brother. He's a, um, a icon to me because when I came and heard the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I was 16, and at that time he was running uh, um, a, a very, very uh, successful, I would say, business model of what it means to get up and do something for yourself in the East Coast um, as a brother that was a laborer, but also a captain in the Nation of Islam in the East Coast. And he's taken the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad um, beyond just the number one program, because we got to have program number 909,099 right. as well. That's right. You know, the messenger said he can write volumes of the teachings. And so we have Brother Dennis Muhammad. Could you tell us about the peacekeepers and why you're here in Macon today? Well, man, first and foremost, always giving honor and praise to God. That's right. Allah for giving me another day to correct yesterday's mistakes. That's right. We, uh, we was invited here by uh, a group. Uh, that seen and heard of the great work that I'm doing around the country with the Peacekeepers Initiative, Brother Quentin Muhammad, Brother Frank Dixon, and Brother David Moore. They were very instrumental in bringing me here. They yes, know that I've been doing this work around the country, getting men and galvanizing men to go in the community to help curb the violence and crime right. that seemed to be taking our young people out at an early age. So I was invited here to make it, and today was the first day that we went out and did what we call our one-hour power, where all the men of the community, we had over 60 men today who were in orange, peacekeepers' shirts. Uh, we had a Christian, we had Muslims, we had a white, we had black men, men who want to be present for peace. Beautiful. And we went through the neighborhood to let our women know, let our children know, to let the young brothers know that we're present for peace. We're here to make our community safe. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, um, a lot of people, and I don't know um, how extensive people are in their research because we understand that there's all types of propaganda out here. And so I recognize that because of the arm that you come from and the, the, uh, the, the level of training that you have come up under, what in what you are doing right now in terms of timing and positioning would you say for our youth that is important that our people need to take an invested look at what the peacekeepers are doing? Well, you know, there's no question. If it was not for the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, there wouldn't be no Brother Dennis. The, uh, the peacekeepers concept came out of the Million Man March, and the minister called two million men to action. He called two million men to be responsible and to atone for us being lack of fathers, lack of good husbands, and lack of these decent citizens in our community. And that was 16 years ago. So we're just calling those two million men that took that pledge back to that pledge. And doing that, we hope that 
under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, we're able to go out there and get our young brothers and get the men and not let this be a, an initiative that is backed in uh, by religion or backed by politics. That's right. This has That's nothing right. to do with religion. Matter of fact, the reason why we call it the peacekeepers, because we learn, brother, that peace transcends religion. It transcends right. politics. It transcends race. And we're happy to know the minister has been at the forefront of going after our youth. So when we go out there in the street as peacekeepers, we don't go out there and judge them. That's we right. don't go out there and tell them pull up the pants. We don't go out there and tell the brothers to stop selling drugs. We take the philosophy the minister gave us. We don't have to get them, get them a dirty glass just to the clean glass beside it. That's we right. go out there in the spirit of love. And we believe, like Jesus says, with love and kindness I draw thee. And we believe that we use the principle of love and kindness. We will draw our young men to a better way of life. That's the principle by which we stand on. And it's working. We are opening Them young men are opening it up because we're not trying to come with the screw face. We're not trying to be right. tough. We're coming with that smile. Right. We're coming with that FOI training That's right. that when we talk to proper handling the people. And it's working. And I'm taking the training that get that I got in the fruit of Islam, and I'm giving that same training to our brothers who are who respect it, who understand it, and who love it. But yet, man, they're good Christians. That's they're right. good Muslims. That's right. These are just good human beings. That's they right. don't have to belong to nothing. they just good and hot. And this is what the Peacekeepers is all about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, for those who don't know, um, as I was saying before, I've actually mentored from afar up under this brother in terms of his drive. Um, I came into the Nation of Islam. I was 16 years old. I'll soon be 39 in February. And this is one of the brothers that I've always kept in high regard for his ability to culminate and move men. And I wanted to say to you, um, you know, publicly, brother, that I admire you. I've, I've, I've watched the peach, peacekeepers. I've watched... Uh, what was going on in different cities that you've actually done different things. This particular network and show, I want to let you know that anytime we're anywhere in the world, because we won't just be in Atlanta, even though this show broadcasts live out of East Point, Beautiful. it is called the Farrakhan Hour. Yes. Uh, Minister Farrakhan gets copies of the DVDs. Um, the uh, Brother Burby knows about the show. Um, the show's been on almost a year, year and a half, going into a year and a half beautiful, now. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the brother whose store we're actually in has helped to facilitate maybe about four months worth of sponsorship oh, for man, that, along with the Savior's Day gift. Beautiful. Um, along with some of the other fundraisers that Muhammad Miles 15 has had. And so I just wanted to say to you, brother, that I thank you for uh, all that you are doing. And I'm hoping that Allah will bless me with a double portion of um, your ability to uh, strike the mindset of those who understand that they need to put their wealth since it's diminishing behind the mindset of someone who actually has the fearlessness and the heart for love to go and get the people to actually put that those resources behind them so that he can actually do the job that they're not willing to do. Well, brother, so I want to say thank you. I want to say, brother, all praise belong to Allah. And I want to say thank you for keeping this hour going. We want to say that this uh, making Georgia is the 14th chapter that we have established of the peacekeepers. We established a chapter, as you know, in London, England. Yes. We just came back from London, England. We're also in Hades. We're doing a great work in the name of the minister. And I know he'd be pleased with what I'm doing. He told me. But I want to say this. They can go to our website to know more about the peacekeepers. It's okay. www.org thepeacekeepers.org www.thepeacekeepers.org and you'll follow what we're doing in other countries. We're on our way to St. Louis. We're hoping to start a peacekeeper there. Brother Akbar, Brother Akbar and Brother Minister Donald and the Ministry of Justice has invited me to St. Louis. Beautiful. So we're going to Patterson, New Jersey. So we're opening up peacekeepers. We're hoping to have as many peacekeepers as we have mosques. And the reason why the peacekeepers are so Beautiful. important is because it gives all men an opportunity to participate in making peace in the community. Mm. And that means we put aside all our differences for the common good of the whole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, brother, I don't know what I got to do. Oh, uh, you're a peacekeeper. Uh, well, yes, sir, we brother. Yes, 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 please, I was about to say, brother, I we need got a shirt. shirt. We got a shirt. Let me say this. Brother Clinton, come here. Come here. Brother Clinton is the man 
who's responsible for bringing me here. Come Somebody here, Brother Frank. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, sir. Yes. This is yes. Brother Frank. Brother he's Frank. he's responsible for Somebody bringing me here, and Good they will make you. sure that you'll get a shirt. Okay. You know, and you already been a peacekeeper, but we did. This is what we're doing, and I'm happy, and I love this business. I'm gonna spend a little money. And give me a hat. Yeah, he make it hard for you not to spend no money because yeah, you got to look so I gotta professional. Get, I got to get yeah. something, man. I got to take something back to Columbus, Ohio, man. Yes, sir. But uh, this brother right here has been shopping always with us Always shopping. Yeah. He said always shopping. Always, always. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very happy to see this brother here. This brother looks familiar, too. Don't from this area. Familiar. Yes, yes, indeed. So I'm very happy to see these brothers uh, a part of the program and uh, working for something productive and uh, the peacekeepers. Yes. I like that. I we'll like be in here. We'll, we'll make sure when we open this area, all the peacekeepers will spend some money with you. We have to support our own. We're a firm believer in that. Yes. And, brother, we thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So with that, I want to say, brother, thank you for coming. Thank you, man. For thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you speak to my father, let him know that uh, we want to make sure that we continue to do what he wants us to do. And so, therefore, I want you to know and the brothers to know that any time uh, you get an opportunity to check this show out, I need your critique. We need your critique so that we can continue to do whatever it is that we're supposed to be doing. But we also need to know if there's anything that we can do to help yes, sir. the peacekeepers. We're going to go online to check the show out. Please, please. And uh, for those who have just tuned in, we're standing here with Brother Dennis Muhammad. Frank Brother Frank Dixon, Brother Quentin Muhammad, Clifford Green. Clifford Green, proprietor. We're here at Flavor <laughs> USA at 646 Sherling Drive. We're broadcasting live on WAEN TV, which is the hip hop network, soon to be archived on WAIN TV and also on YouTube within the next 72 hours. Brothers, I know y'all have, have to go. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. I want to get one of them orange hats. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So, um, my brother here, um, I just wanted to say that, um, the Do For Self program, you're no stranger, uh, to, uh, the Do For Self program or the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. How did I'm you not. come across the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or Islam as a whole? Well, being from the islands, um, always followed the struggle in America and, uh, I've watched when I was young, um, you know, the, it wasn't true information that we were being given, but we still were aware of Donald Elijah Muhammad, uh, Malcolm X, and such. But when I came here, then uh, my knowledge was expanded as to these great men going all the way back to Noble Drali. Yes, and, great uh, man. Indeed. And uh, understanding from those teachings, the other great men that came, whether it be Marcus Garvey, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Minister Louis Farrakhan, uh, Malachi York. Malachi, yes. Uh, all of these great men who have tried to help us with our determination to do for self. Mm. So they have been a great influence in my life. It's made me a better person. And uh, that's how I live my life. I live my life by that famous quote in the Quran where it speaks of not being judged by one uh, atoms, a, a grain of uh, atoms weight. Right. And this is how I try to live my life and I teach my kids to live life by not giving a, giving a just weight. Right. But whatever you do, give a just weight. Don't take a penny from a person. And so honesty is one of the greatest value or virtues that a person can have. Uh, it's, you know, and integrity. So uh, yeah, these uh, particular men, Noble Drew Ali, uh, Alam Elijah Muhammad, has been huge, and uh, I admire, I admire them greatly. And so therefore, I live my life in the sense to uh, honor them. Well, you know, truth has no, it's not like Brother Dennis said, it's not relative to whether you're a Christian, Muslim, or whatever. It, it's relevant to the principles that are there. Yeah. And, no you know, it's it's a very reflection on the fact that we're here. Right. It's a reflection on the fact that that is something that those universal truths or principles have been beneficial to you and your family. That's correct. 
you know. Yes, so um, let me ask you in the future, projection wise, do you see any uh, projection wise? Because, you know, I'm looking at your store and I'm like, I would like to see a Flavor USA in Atlanta. Uh, do you, are you thinking sure. about doing any broad branching out or have you thought about doing any, any other marketing aside from here? Because I'm sure with where I live mm-hmm. in the franchising, mm-hmm. where I live, mm-hmm. the people would nine times out of ten would want to support your store because of the quality because of the consistency and then also because of the way you have your setup Um, as I said it looks to me as good or better than a footlock or a finish line or some haberdasheries that I've been in on Mitchell Street uh, Freedman's it looks better to me than some of those stores and I've supported all of them well of course of course Um, man that would be great you know yeah of course we would like to franchise uh you know in atlanta so maybe you can help us with that brother yes sir you we'll know, see what we can know, do <laughs> have those connections and maybe we can make something happen there you know along the line for the brothers there you know the type of wear that you know that we could present to them whether it be the suits the ties uh those type of things well we are always going to wear jeans that's right but, but the basic <laughs> core items that we could have and present which is a uh, attire that since you are part uh, of wearing, look at you. I mean, just elegance in motion. So we would, yeah, we would definitely want to expand, and that is in our uh, plan to do. For okay. Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. uh, can't give you a time period on that, but okay. hopefully, you know, we can make that happen within a year or two. Okay. 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 So I once, know once we can get this planet back together. Because well, you know that's going to take that's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of conscious awareness and working together to change where we are, where we are as a collective. You know, so humanity becoming more conscious of the situation, working together for the best of all. You know, still, and because we all have life, but still, if we can get through these difficult times we're in the next few years, which we see as a critical period. For us, our humanity, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe we'll be all right. But we got some challenges that we have to overcome. That's right. That's right. So, you know, um, we've taken a look at the store. You know, we've had a few people that have actually come in that actually have supported. Mm -hmm. What would you um, say to anyone that in addition to looking at the website, in addition to those who are in the area, um, what could they expect out of not just the quality and the product that you have, right. but what kind of relationship are you looking to establish with someone that may be looking at this from Europe or from Germany? What type of business relationship are you looking to establish with them? Are they just someone that you would just see that's just purchasing or what type of relationship are you looking to establish? Because well, I heard I heard you say something that sparked that question and you talked about the long-term objective. Okay. Okay. You talked about the long-term objective, and so you have people from all over the world. From what I understand, with uh, the WAIN TV Hour and Network, um, of which I thank um, um, Mr. Jackson. You know, I thank uh, Mr. Fred Grogan. I thank uh, uh, Miss Betty Craig. I thank uh, the attorney um, that's a part of. Uh, Mr. Fred Rushing, that's a part of this particular network that's allowed uh, for this to take place. And um, I know that they thank you for supporting uh, this particular network as you have over a period of months Mm -hmm. and with consistency. And so uh, what could WAIN, Mm -hmm. you know, do in addition to what you're looking to do to make some type of long term business relationship? Because you're in business. Yes. And this particular network needs people to support it, but the network also needs to support your business. How could we make that a, a very unique relationship uh, without putting too much mm-hmm. out there in terms of what we can do to do um, business? Hmm. Well, it's, I mean, uh, it's hard for me to really say what uh, they could do. Um, I haven't given it a lot of thought as far as that part of it. Um, but as far as us, when you speak of the greater world um, outside of America, um, I think us moving into manufacturing. Okay. 
our own product would be probably the best thing we could do at this time. And if we can achieve that, because we do have a brand that is called Flavor Unlimited. Okay. And we are in the process of manufacturing. Okay. And we intend to build that. Now, there will be certain, uh, uh, with that Flavor Unlimited, there is messages that we want to give. Okay. That maybe can help other people become more aware of the planetary situation. It's not all about wearing clothes uh, just to wear it. It's about wearing clothes that says or have or saying something that okay. will affect the minds of the people. I heard you talk about that too. You talk. You told me one day how you came up with the flavor. Uh-huh. part so what i mean how did that come about oh, before, before we close <laughs> well I, um, I you know i love public enemy i do too okay and i i, I do too now I, I used to work out to fu- uh, public i'd go running in new york run down uh flatbush and just you know and i would be listening to uh the whole public enemy uh, uh, our cd of public enemy so wow. and flavor flav you know he's the, he's the hype man he's the hype man he's the hype man he's got that flavor that's right so we kind of like that. We say, you know, we would use that that flavor, uh, and then we remember that Craig Mack, you know, flavor in your, your ear. But so we turned it to flavor in your gear. Wow. So, you know, wow. That, That's that brilliant. was influential to us. And it always stuck. People liked it. We continued with it. And we decided that uh, to brand that and, and to continue down the road with that flavor and unlimited uh, would be a great thing. So it would be good for you to look for that. Look for Flavor Unlimited coming low gold. That's right. Okay. Uh, so watch the presentation and don't misunderstand what it's saying. That's, that's right. all I have to say concerning that. Okay, okay, we, that's that's good. So we we're gonna we're gonna look for that product. Uh, yeah. You know, Clifford, I just want to say I thank you. Yeah. For um, the opportunity. Can someone just show um, one of the Flavor Helene uh, the shirts? Uh, yeah, we want to get that product down. Yeah, so here. we can just show them one of our the, the flavor unlimited shirt. It's probably toward the front of the store. Again, for those who are actually uh, taking a look at this show right now, we're being broadcast live on WAEN.TV, which is in East Point, Georgia, uh, which is a hip hop network. We're definitely looking for sponsors. Um, if you can contact me directly if you're interested in supporting this show, which is the Farcon Hour. My number is 404 four five three seven three three zero my name is lazaric muhammad i am the host you can also go to w a i n dot tv and also see any archived uh video footage presentation of minister farcon different community events that are going on we need sponsors you can actually go online to the show and you can actually pay online uh become a monthly sponsor we have sponsorship that starts as low as twenty five dollars but we don't know, we don't want your minimums to become our maximums. And so if you would like to donate more and give more than twenty five dollars a month, definitely um, you can call call the station or you can call me direct. Again, my number is four zero four four five three seven three three zero. We're here live today in Macon, Georgia, on Saturday, the 19th. Um, and we're here uh, with. Uh, Clifford Green and his family in Flavor USA, which is at 646 Sherling Drive in Macon, Georgia, right off of I-16, uh, near I-75 in Macon, Georgia. Uh, this is one of the products I was telling you about, the Flavor Unlimited. Uh, it's, you know, the beginning of our product selection right here as far as, and we call this the indigenous wear. Because of the color scheme contained. And it's, there's a meaning behind this. And so therefore, this is one of our prize, uh, editions here. And we would hope that maybe you would try to, you know, at least support the Flavor Unlimited brand that is coming your way. And I got one more, a couple others. As a matter of fact, Brother Zay, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, offer one to you and, and our cameraman. Watch out now. So that we can, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, we're going to offer one to you, one of the indigenous sphere. And also to our cameraman, we have one for him um, that we'd like to, to give. 
And uh, so this is what we are doing. And we intend to progress and build on this, build into jeans, build into uh, jackets and such. And so, you know, that's our beginning stage here. So you're saying that, hypothetically speaking, that once we wear the shirt, that our flavor will become unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother, your flavor is unlimited anyhow. All praises due to uh, our, <laughs> our Nubian's flavor is unlimited anyhow. And so we really, really appreciate all of the support. Thank you, brother. And uh, we wish every each and every one that's viewing this, we wish you blessings and lots of success. And most of all, be determined to succeed. And you have a right to life. Hold on to it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you, brother, for uh, the show. I know you got clients that are in here, so you yes, got sir. things to take care of. Yes, thank you. And, um, uh, again, I want to thank you all uh, for tuning in um, to the WAN.TV show. Um, looks like we're going to be on this network as well. We understand that we have some uh, who uh, would like to support us in this hour. I did have, um, if brother can get me a copy of the magazine, um, the um, actual magazine for um, the uh, mandatory business, which is um, dealing with the 16th anniversary of the Million Man March. Uh, this is just one of the editions of the magazine. I'm putting this out here because of the hip hop network station that we're on. Um, this particular um, magazine right here uh, was put together by none other than one of our brothers, JT, uh, the bigger figure who was in Atlanta, and also hip hop icon, Too Short, uh, out of California, who also has property here uh, on the south side of Atlanta. And um, this magazine is designed for people who are actually uh, in the hip hop community that would like to promote uh, what they have in terms of business. Uh, it also has in it um, a layout of um, footage for those who get this particular edition, which is a collector's edition now. And so uh, for anyone who would like to get one, they can call me at 404-453-7330. Here you have Brother Sharif Muhammad with his sons and his nephew um, in it talking about uh, the Holy Day of Atonement and the Million Man March and the history of the Nation of Islam, his commitment to the Nation of Islam. And I would like to say thank you on behalf of Brother Minister Sharif Muhammad, the Southern Regional Representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, uh, the Regional Laborers, uh, the Regional Captain, Sister Captain, and the Protocol. And I would like to thank you on behalf of my family um, who supports me, um, as well as uh, the community in Atlanta that buys the Final Call, which is the number one program of the Nation of Islam, um, you can order that paper at finalcall.com or you can go to finalcall.org. Help me to help Minister Farrakhan to make the Final Call newspaper the number one, uh, not just uh, red paper in the world, but soul paper in the world. I am looking to increase my uh, commitment to that program as well as my subscription and paper sale orders. So you can go to finalcall.com or finalcall.org to order any tapes or DVDs at Honorable Louis Farrakhan. And for those who would like to see this show or any show that is archived in the last year of the Farrakhan Hour, you can go to www.wain.tv. And for this broadcast, it will also be broadcast on www.wain.tv. Again, I want to thank you. Um, as I have come to you, I would like to leave you in the greeting words of peace and paradise of Isalamu alaikum, wishing you all a blessed and prosperous day. <laughs>